How are you celebrating Youth Week, James? Oh, look, doing a whole range of things. Um, we actually launched it um, on Saturday. We had a, a big youth forum, which is around Young People Direct, yep. um, which is an initiative to get more young people giving giving me advice and information. We actually launched Youth Week on Saturday, and there'll be something like 80 events right across the state. So we're partnering up with Beyond Blue, the depression initiative, yep. Yep. and uh, there'll be 80 events right across the state, ranging from everything from you know music events, um, arts exhibitions, um, a group of young mothers in Corio, um, providing some advice to, to uh, young people in that in that region, um, design workshops, you know, fashion design, so a whole range of events right through the week, and finishing off uh, on the 13th with a big event at Hume City Council in uh, Broadmeadows, big uh, big freezer event. In the past, is the uh, the youth have they been a group that's been uh, relatively underrepresented um, in these kind of forums and whatnot? Yeah, look, it's one of the challenges of government to connect to young people and actually hear directly, you know, what are the issues um, facing young people. So when when the, the Labor Party came to government in 1999, we actually created the, the Office of Minister for Youth and created the Office for Youth. And the latest thing that we're doing is, is Young People Direct, and it's all about giving young people a range of uh, ways that they can get some information to me. So my responsibility as Youth Minister is to talk to you know the Minister for Transport, the Minister for Police, Minister for Education, because mm. issues for young people go right across government. So my role is to really coordinate that and, and put those views to, to various parts of government. So Young People Direct will be around um, a range of ways to give me advice. So there's the forum on, on Saturday, and, and we'll have two forums a year. There's uh, the Ministerial Advisory Council, which is uh, 16 individuals, and nominations for that have opened. So if any, any of your uh, CNFM listeners are interested, um, go to the Youth Central website yep. and, and nominate. Absolutely. Um, and also surveys, range of things that we're doing. As, as uh, speaking from the youth perspective, I think there's a stereotype as government people being maybe plain and boring. Yeah. How, how, is it difficult um, sort of speaking to the youth and teenagers to keep them sort of interested? Because it might be, it sounds like it could be a challenging or difficult thing. Yeah, look, I, I think, um, you know, there's a perception of, of what a politician is and what yeah. a minister is. And, you know, we're just human beings like everyone else, you know. Um, so you, you try and get that across to people yeah. and, and, and try and to make that connection. But the important thing is to think of ways, you know, how, how do you connect to young people? That's probably the you know, $100 million question. So we think about how we need to better utilise the internet, better utilise our, our Youth Central website yep. to actually communicate and get advice. Do you ever feel the uh, temptation to put on some baggy pants and maybe, I don't know, a beanie, become a bit of a homeboy? I, I reckon, I reckon that, that would be such a mistake, you know. You, know, try, you shouldn't try to do something that you're not. And, and I think if, you, if you're honest, uh, people connect with you, but if you try and pretend that you're, uh, I'm not a regular politician. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm a cool politician. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That, that's never going to work. No. Okay. How do you think things have changed since you were growing up in your youth to to now? How things have changed for young people? Look, I think um, you know I was at just at the beginning of the the technical revolution and the information age. You know, right, right at. I can remember when a computer in the classroom was actually a you know a, a new thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think the biggest difference now is just the the information overload that that we have in our society, and um, you know people can be pretty overwhelmed by that. Also, just the bombardment of, of images about what you should look like. Body image is a really big issue that, yeah. that we're trying to tackle in government, and uh, I, I think that's one of the crucial things that you know there's. There's a pressure to, to look a certain way yeah. um, that that I can't remember when I was when I was uh, younger. So you think that will be one of the main issues in the forum? That, yeah, yeah. I, look, I think so. Um, I'll, I'll be getting some feedback this week in terms of um, the priorities that were discussed at the forum. But uh, I would expect that the body image will be up there. Also, young a thing for when you're in your childhood. There's always <laughs> fads like the games at school. There was. There's music, uh, the TV shows, cartoons like that. Yo-yos. Yo-yos. What, what were some of the ones when you were young? Your, your, when you were growing up, what were some fads? Maybe music, what was your music style back then? Uh, it was pretty eclectic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hip-hop, you look like a hip-hop guy. Nah, well, yeah, a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I, I like most things, but this will really date me, but when I was in uh, primary school, 
Uh, so this is going back to the early to mid 80s. Yep. So there was mm -hmm. bands like Adam and the Ants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the big Adam and the Ants. Pretty two shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so oh, what else was there? Rubik's cubes. Yeah, Rubik's cubes. Yeah. Yo-yos were, were bigger at one point. Do you know what J one of uh, Jade's childhood? Um, <laughs> Her and her friends at school, we were like going through crazes, we were like skipping, yeah, all this stuff, and she said clapping. Her and her friends <laughs> would just go around at lunchtime and clap. I don't know, has that been one of no. you come across? Or? That's very strange. Yeah. <laughs> She's a strange girl. Rhythmic clapping. <laughs> Rhythmic clapping. There's something no, behind no, no. her. And just finally, what about cartoons? you got, you got to have some favourite cartoons when you're a child. Oh, there was a great cartoon, jeez, I can't remember what it was called. It was a, it was a Japanese cartoon. and a, Yep. Um, Dragon Ball Z. Samurai no, 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 it, no. It predates all of that. Oh, Astro Boy? No, no, no. Later than that. Oh, what Ninja was Turtles. it? No. Pokemon? No. No, no. no. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I can't uh, remember. Sailor oh, Moon? <laughs> if I remember, I'll call back in and tell you what it was. Let us know uh, if you can. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for coming in this morning. My uh, pleasure. Any time. Have a chat to us. Uh, Go For Your Life uh, is helping the 30-minute uh, exercise challenge so yep. make sure you get on that and um, it's great for your health it's a bit of fun as well you can check out our video which we did uh, at sin.org.au uh, do you do you award initiative types of exercise like I don't know I was thinking somersaulting or I don't know more <laughs> creative kind of ways to exercise we should have some awards for the best uh the best creative ideas. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Just you know, putting it out there. <laughs> 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 yeah. <maybe. laughs>